Thank you to all of our sponsors for making our Computex 2023 coverage possible. Hey guys, we're here at Computex 2023 and we've stopped by the Notcher booth and we have Jacob with us as well. And I mean, there's a lot of new stuff here. We always kind of come to expect that from Notchua. So Jacob's just going to run through exactly what's here, why it's a, why it's a product in the first place, because sometimes it seems like some of the small things can give the biggest benefits. So let's start down this end, right? Yeah, actually, this is one of my favorite products to show. We have an uh, offset AMD mounting coming up uh, that basically shifts the cooler over the hotspot of the AM5 uh, Ryzen CPUs. Um, so this way we can achieve a temperature reduction of roughly one to three degrees Celsius. Um, we're going to have these available uh, starting mid-June uh, to end June, depending on the model, uh, for prices between four and uh, five euros or USD. So uh, I think it's a real nice uh, bang for the buck uh, temperature improvement. Yeah, and it's all based down, as he said, with the Ryzen processors and the CCDs down the bottom. Generally, there's th just that little hotspot area, and it's just, I guess, trying to make sure that the main part of the cooler is just more over that area of the CPU than anywhere else where it's potentially not getting as hot, right? Yeah, exactly. It's all about uh, getting the, the mounting pressure where it matters the most, yep. um, right over the CCDs and uh, achieving a more even heat distribution uh, throughout the base of the cooler so all the heat pipes get a more even share of the total heat load. And we spoke off camera, these are basically going to fit to any Notchua cooler from 2005 onwards, right? Yes, absolutely. Any regular base size cooler, so uh, Threadripper coolers excluded, yeah. but all the uh, regular base size coolers since 2005 are going to be compatible. Okay, so moving on, what have we got next? I can see something here that's done by a good friend of mine, Roman, but what have you done to, to tweak this? What, what's that all about? Something slightly crazy here. We've worked with Roman to create uh, direct die mounting spaces for our heat sinks. So um, if you're getting Roman's delining tool and uh, direct die frame, uh, using these spaces, uh, you will be able to put Nocto coolers on your delitted AM5 CPUs. We see uh, temperature improvements in the range of 10 to 15 degrees. So of course you're awarding your warranty there, but you're getting a lot of improvement in return. And if you combine that with the offset mounting bars we've just shown, you can knock off another one to two degrees. And in the best cases, we've seen up to almost 20 degree uh, temperature reduction. So it's really a massive improvement to be had. So, the, so you will void your warranty, but the gains that you can get for that you could argue are worth the risk, right? Absolutely. Um, again, this is going to be a very affordable uh, solution. The spaces are going to be 490, and if that's too expensive for you, uh, we will also make them available um, uh, on printables.com, the SDL files, so you can print them yourself if, you, yourself if you like. Wow, that's really cool. So yeah, really, really interested in this. I've never delidded myself. Might have to do it now. Yeah, you never know. You'll, you'll pay for You're it if it goes wrong, the, right? Take the risk. Uh, I mean, you'll buy a new one if it goes wrong, right? Absolutely. Uh, there you go, there you go. All right, what else do we have here then? We have a 24 volt 40 millimeter fan coming up uh, for the 3D printing crowd. Uh, so this is a great uh, choice for the Creality uh, line 3D printers that use 24 volt, yep. but also many other models. Um, AMD uh, next generation Threadripper coolers coming up. Um, some new black line, uh, Chromax line heatsink models. And uh, the highlights, I would say, for us this year uh, are the new 140 millimeter fan and uh, the next generation Energy 15 cooler that's going to make good use of that fan. So um, what we're trying to explain here at Computex this year is why it has taken us so long to get this fan out and why we had to keep pushing it back again and again. It's hard to wrap this up in a minute or two, uh, but in a nutshell, we have uh, several key challenges. The first is that it's very difficult to meet our benchmark of uh, providing a meaningful improvement over the existing A14 fan and the A12X25 fan, which works very well with the 120 to 140 millimeter adapters. And the second key challenge is that um, in order to meet this performance target, we need to use a super tight tip clearance of only 0.7 millimeters. And getting the fan manufactured with such a tight clearance is a challenge in manufacturing that is, uh, yeah, um, worse than any we had before, uh, to put it uh, mildly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we haven't been at Computex for four years, and I remember you showcasing something uh, probably four, maybe five years ago, where you were explaining that you were trying to get the blades closer to the edge and how long you'd already taken then. Yeah, it's been eight years now, right? Yeah. 
This has been in the works since uh, 2015. Uh, the first five years of development were basically just uh, getting the aerodynamic design to a level where we reach this performance target of beating the two fans I've mentioned. So we've taken multiple different approaches. The impeller samples you see back there uh, look completely different because we have been sent back to the drawing board and it takes multiple like iterative feedback cycles um, to get a design uh, that really um, yeah, ticks all the boxes we need. And it was uh, in 2020 that we finally had one that we started to optimize to a level that we could eventually take it uh, to the tooling stage and then on to the final validation stage we're still in today. Yeah. And we were saying off camera as well that you know it can get to this point where you think it's basically almost ready, you put it through rigorous testing at the end of it, something goes wrong, it's not up to where you expect it to and it's basically back to the drawing board to a degree, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, or at least several steps back. And yep. the problem is that in the final validation test, we're running accelerated long-term tests that take uh, four months to complete and uh, at least several weeks to prepare and several weeks to analyze afterwards. So if anything goes wrong at that stage, it easily sets you back half a year or even a whole year. And sadly, this is what happened uh, to this fan uh, uh, late in 2022. And this is what prompted us to delay it by a year. Um, and this is also why I uh, cannot confirm that it will have a firm uh, release date, let's say, early next year. That's what we're targeting. We're still battling some issues with um, pressure from uh, radiator mounting screws and heatsink fan clips that we're now aiming to solve by switching the frame material to Sterox LCP as well. Initially, we only planned to do the impeller from LCP. Um, but uh, the tests are still running and we have to wait for these tests to finish before we uh, can be confident that the van is actually going to be out in, in Q1 next year. To be fair, we work with Notua for so many years. I wouldn't expect anything different from you guys as to making sure it is absolutely perfect. It's funny because at Computex we've been hearing so many brands saying, oh, we have the Notua killer, this is going to beat Notua. And I don't know, we kind of have a little bit of a running joke that you know, Notua's got things in the work. As soon as a, a competitor comes along with a product, you guys just like, bam, there it is, beats it, we're the winner again. But speaking of these fans, uh, obviously there is the updated, the big boy, right? So yeah. over here. We do want to make good use of that fan and uh, that's where the second generation NHD15 comes into play. Um, the new fan has much improved uh, PQ characteristics so that means that we can uh, push more air against resistance like on a heatsink or radiator. So uh, using the new fans on the cooler enabled us to decrease the fin pitch from 1.9 to 1.6 millimeter. Um, so we have an overall increase in surface area of 20% uh, despite remaining in the same form factor. So it's not more bulky than the original D15 but packs a lot, of, lot more surface area. At the same time uh, we're now using 8 instead of 6 heat pipes and uh, these two factors are the keys to the improved performance we're going to see from the second generation model. Go. Really interesting stuff coming from Notchua. Like I say, I wouldn't ever expect anything different from them. Kind of seem to have a product for everyone, and uh, it's just amazing how much work and how much time and how much effort goes into all this stuff. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, this has been great, and uh, as you know, we will get all these products in when they are ready. Uh, for our own testing, we are updating all of our testing methodology, so it'll be really cool to do that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll have a lot more Computex 2023 coverage coming to you very, very soon, so make sure you subscribe for that. Thank you very much. Thanks Cheers. For See you later, guys. Bye-bye.